All right, look at that, and I got a little raft. A good snow raft, a good snow in here. I figured this would be a great opportunity to come out and just talk about what cold exposure means to me. Uh, I started practicing cold exposure by practicing the Wim Hof method, and I honestly, honestly found out about it by watching Tony Robbins, and I saw that he would jump into an ice bath daily, and that just sort of piqued my curiosity with it. I never liked the cold, ever. I used to always think that when I would get older, I would always move down south because the cold hurt my body. I would describe the cold as always like this hunched over painful experience in my body. And now, like I, I enjoy the cold. I enjoy it. I mean, it's still not always 100% fun. It's still somewhat of a grueling process adapting to it, but it's just made winter a much more pleasurable experience. It's shown me what I'm capable of and the limits that I set for myself before even trying. I always assumed that cold, cold exposure was just impossible for me. Impossible. I couldn't even go out to my car without running or having lots of layers on. So the fact that I can like be out here like this right now is something I never thought possible before. It's definitely about increasing mental focus. It's about putting yourself in an intentional stressful situation and learning to cope through that. Learning to breathe and sit with that. This has helped me develop a new relationship with the cold. It's my teacher and it's helped me to be so incredibly mindful. To look at the snow, to play in the snow, to put your feet in the snow. Look at that. Can you even see my feet? No, you can't. Ugh, my feet in the snow! <laughs> Cold exposure has just shown me how many limits I set for myself. And it makes me think okay, if I had this whole preconceived notion of the cold and how I manage it and what it does to my body, those things were wrong. What else am I wrong about? I used to hide away from the cold. I'd cover up, I'd avoid. And I do that with other things in my life. But when you face it and learn how to cope with it, and dare I say, enjoy it, it just changes your outlook and perspective on everything else. I just can't wait to figure out what else I'm wrong about. I can't wait to figure out what else I'm wrong about. Even now, like, I'm cold, but I have the tools to cope. And I'm using these tools to cope in so many other areas of my life. So I take opportunities now to get out into the snow, to be barefoot in the snow, to ground myself in the snow, to practice cold exposure through ice baths. What? All right. I'm coming.